Adrian, thanks very much for, for joining us today. Just give us some, I suppose, your view on the current situation, um, more, you know, kind of broadly in the market at the moment. It is important to see how uh, the crisis is being managed, and uh, we are following this uh, quite uh, quite actively. And um, uh, we, uh, as, as you know, also like the, the GRI member, uh, we, we have uh, just received some analysis uh, from uh, this body, and uh, it looks like uh, GRI members are evaluating Germany as the overwhelming winner of the crisis. So I would say the decision makers, the CEOs of, of real estate companies are actually saying that Germany's monetary and fiscal actions uh, to support uh, their economy uh, were nearly unmatched across the world. So this is, this is uh, very important because, of course, Germany is, is our neighbor, meaning the Central European neighbor. Uh, so close behind uh, Germany, what is the second uh, best uh, region in, in terms of dealings with the crisis is actually Central, Central and Eastern Europe. So, of course, you know, Germany is praised also for its quick and strict lockdown measures, um, but uh, definitely uh, Central European uh, countries and especially Poland is also uh, keen as a stable country by the majority of real estate executives. So this is important, you know, for all of the investors, yes, how, how the countries are managing the crisis. Another thing which is uh, quite interesting is uh, about uh, the relocation of supply chains from China. Of course, we know that the winners of the real estate sectors uh, in terms of the attractiveness is uh, definitely the logistic market. Uh, but, you know, it's not only about the, the, the real estate, it's about the business uh, in general. So when I have seen the report from Nomura, it says that Asian countries like India, Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia will be the, uh, the ones where the, 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 the whole supply chains from China uh, be relocated, yes? Uh, and they are like top five. But at the same time, when you look at the top 10 countries and when you take aside the Asian countries uh, besides this top five, there are two countries which are uh, striking out from this list. And this is actually Poland and Czech Republic. Believe it or not, uh, we are actually treated um, by the Asian investor because this is, you know, uh, numerous, of course, a Japanese um, bank. So they are actually looking at us as uh, winners of this potential change. So there are different dynamics uh, which will be affecting the real estate market, but it's, it is important to look at the, uh, at the global economical trends. Uh, so besides this of course you know when when you go down to the to the uh, in, in particular to the real estate market what is always um, measured what is a good measure for us is actually the difference between the prime yields and the government bonds so we always look at that when we are analyzing our next business plans and right now you know this is a very healthy spread being maintained uh, compared for example to the previous uh, global uh, financial crisis so this is uh, this is a totally different environment we're right now and i must say there is a wall of money uh, which is actually looking uh, where to invest and of course you can take a risk and go into the equities the stock exchange but if you can have uh, quite healthy and safe returns in the from the real estate this is something that uh, some of these investors will actually look at uh, so so there is there is a, a very good alternative uh, which is actually uh, coming out from uh, the from our market um, at the same time the low interest rates are connected with higher interest uh, which are paid uh, by uh, investors or by developers and we are quite uh, lucky that we have our own financing but uh, when you when you are looking at the trends on the market, we believe that one of them will be actually shorter uh, supply of office product in the market because there is not so much actually of uh, real estate financing which which can be uh, grabbed by by real estate developers, and of course you know any mass uh, or any other uh, equity of. Uh, um, uh, borrowings are quite uh, expensive, so this will stop some of the supply. So, so this is also interesting. You know, what, what kind of impact it may have on the on the future of of, uh, of the market. And Adrian, just in terms of the market, um, I guess how are you seeing that developing in terms of uh, in terms of demand at the moment? 
We must, of course, admit that COVID-19 is hitting the volumes. So it's, it's less product being sold uh, all over the world. I think it's around 30% decline between 20, 2020 and 2019 in terms of the first half uh, that, that, be, that is uh, being evidenced. And, uh, but at the same time, we see that Central Europe is quite an uh, interesting position because uh, Poland, for example, uh, recorded if not the best half uh, of the year ever, maybe this will be the second best. So, so our, our trades uh, went up, uh, you know, compared to the 2019. And uh, this is actually, of course, due to m many logistics transactions, but still uh, lots of office buildings uh, have been sold. One of them has been uh, actually a building that we have signed with DECA, which is Generation Z. We have signed and closed, uh, actually, uh, during these times. Uh, so this is a huge success for us and our partner, long-term partner, I must say. Uh, second, uh, second closing has been done in uh, Krakow with High Five and Credit Suisse. So we are still on the market. We are still trading. Definitely, the activities are slowing down. Uh, but if you look what is happening on the, uh, on the leasing market, we again can be proud of our uh, team, of our people, that we managed to sign the biggest list ever in the whole Skanska history, not only in Central Europe, but in, in the whole world, which is a 47,000 square meter lease uh, with uh, the biggest uh, Polish financial insurance company, PZU, in Warsaw, in our uh, tower, Generation Y, in, in, the, in the city center of Warsaw. So this is, again, a, a very good sign uh, for us that even in the tough times, we are performing and sometimes we have, you know, success, such uh, successes. So this is something I, I'm very proud of uh, and, and I'm, I'm happy to be part of this, uh, of this organization and, and part of the success. Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Adrian.